Hey guys, it's Mr. Pena, and today we're going to be talking about uh, estimating sums and differences in decimals. So I have this word problem right here. It says Miss Cates went to HEB and bought a box of cereal for $3.74, a pack of toothbrushes for $0.84, cents, a pound of apples for $0.99, cents, and a pack of Oreos for $3.29. About how much money did she spend? So um, what I like to do is I like to extract my information so I can see it a little bit better than in the word problem. So I'm going to look at the first item she bought. She bought a box of cereal. So she bought the cereal for $3.74. So in my mind, I'm trying to use, it says the word about, so I'm trying to use numbers that are friendly. So $3.74. It's either going to be close to $3 or $4. So $3.74 is actually closer to $4. So I'm going to write that on the side. Now, she also bought toothbrushes. I'm going to abbreviate that. She bought toothbrushes for $0.84. Cents. So I'm thinking in my head, is this closer to $0 cents or is that closer to a dollar? So $0.84 cents is definitely closer to a dollar. So I'm going to write that down on the side. She also bought a pound of apples for 99 cents. So 99 cents, I already know it's, it's only one cent away from a dollar. So she spent about one dollar on that pound of apples. And then finally, she bought a pack of Oreos. And these Oreos cost $3.29. So as I'm thinking in my head, I need, to, I need to use a little bit of estimation. So is $3.29 closer to $3, or is it closer to $4? In this case, it's actually closer to $3. So now I can simply add, because they're asking how much money she, how much total money she spent. So I have 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 3 is $9. So she spent about $9 at HEB. Here's another example. Now we're going to work with differences. Mr. Pena went to Dollar Tree and spent $14.56. If he pays with a $20 bill, about how much change should he receive? So he spent 14, Mr. Pena, Maceo, spent $14.56 at Dollar Tree. And we, we're trying to find how much change I'm going to get if I pay with a $20 bill. So $14.56 is actually, is it closer to $14 or is it closer to $15? So $0.56 cents is way closer to $15 than it is to $14. So I spent about $15 at Dollar Tree. Now, if I'm paying with a $20 bill, I want to know how much change I'm going to get. So I'm going to subtract. So I have $20 minus $15 is equal to $5 in change. So I should receive about $5 in change. All right, so I have a new problem here that you can try it on your own. Uh, it says you went to the book fair and bought a bookmark for $0.69 cents and a graphic novel for $12.99. About how much money did you spend at the book fair? So try this out on your own, and then we can check it in class with your teachers.